one of many inhabitants in our soils, and only 0.5 to 1 millimeter in size makes this one an organism from the world of microbes. A female nematode with fertilized eggs in her uterus. She belongs to a wide range of nematodes that feed on bacteria and are commonly found in soils containing organic materials. The larva lay folded in their oval-shaped eggs. After only two hours, the larva hatch and roam freely in their mother's uterus. With a magnification of 1000, can you easily observe the fast progression of stages in the larva's development. The uterus filled up with larva after only four hours. After another two hours, the uterus breaks apart and the larva start moving around the mother's intestine, which is filled with bacteria. Because of the eager movements of the larva, the intestine becomes damaged and releases the bacteria which the larva consume. The larva grow even faster due to the abundance of extra nutrition and continue to move closer towards the mother's head. The mother dies after two hours and the larva starting to free themselves by eating through their mother's corpse. With a magnification of 1000, can you easily observe how the larva push away the throat and the middle bulbous in order to feed. Not much is left of the corpse intestine after just a few hours. The larva continue to grow and completely fill up the dead body of their mother. The time has arrived for the larva to leave their mother's dead body. The skin of the corpse is tough and the larva have to use all their strength to find an exit. One larva at a time finds a hole to push through to get to the outside. Most of all hatched larva manage to leave their mother's dead body after only 24 hours. Only the skin of the corpse and any larva who failed to complete the develop are left behind. This phenomena is known under the name endotokia matricida, which means matricide. This type of intrauterine birth is widely spread throughout the family of bacteria-eating nematodes.